Shalom, y'all. Let me show you uh, some edible plants. We have this little area, and we just realized within this tiny space we're about to show you, there's at least four edible plants here. So this tree with, uh, you can sort of see these leaves. This is what's called staghorn sumac, and you can sort of see these clusters here. And uh, this isn't what it'll look like when it's ripe. This is last year's batch, but those grow up. Um, a bunch of these small little seed looking deals that are right now brown, but they'll be bright bright red and They are good for vitamin C So if you're ever out in the wilderness and you get some sort of a cold or especially long term you want to fight off um, Scurvy this stuff's really good for vitamin C. You can take it and just eat it You can also use it to make like a tea or a beverage sort of like lemonade. It's got a good tartness to it um Right down here is some berries that I believe are early ripening blackberries. But we'll get to the berries a little bit more over there. Um, this leaf right here in this vine is a grapevine. Um, you can sort of see it back over here too. It looks sort of like a maple leaf. This is the grapevine. We have more of those back over here. Um, this is also... This is black raspberry, and that's what I have in my hand, a bunch of the ripe ones that I've picked. And then come this way for us. This one right here that's unripe, these are definitely blackberries. You can tell because of their shape, um, they're a little bit more long. And those come ripe after, you can see all this red, and then some of them are black back in there. Uh, that's our black raspberries. The black raspberries come, you know, I can walk back there and point. Right here, you can see they're darker. And like the ones I had in my hand, they're a little bit more flat. They don't stick up as much. These are black raspberries. And you can see, and I can see, there's just tons of these green blackberries that are not yet ripe. And then every day there's more ripening. Here's some more of the green blackberries not quite ready. And then you can get into these black raspberries where we were picking. And every day more come ripe. These red ones, in a few more days, they'll be ripe. So you can come by here every day, it's a cornucopia of um, black raspberries. And the cool thing is, as soon as the black raspberries are done uh, ripening and you can eat them, that's right when the blackberries come in. And then you can, same space, you can come here, you can still get delicious berries. Um, these, you might have to come a little bit closer. This tree has a similar sort of leaf structure to the sumac, and this one would be a really good indicator here. This is elderberry, and you can see this one has some flowers on the side, and then these little green berries in the middle. Um, here's just a whole cluster of flowers, and then this is a whole cluster of the berries already been pollinated. These get a little bit bigger than this, but not too much bigger, and they're elderberries. They have medicinal, right? They're good. I'm not sure you can Google it, but they are good. They're, they also taste good, and the way you know when these are ripe is they also turn dark. They turn uh, like a dark almost black, kind of a real dark purple. They're still small, and when these babies go, you gotta pick them like that day, because the birds love them, and they come in and they'll eat them all up for you. Um, we also have some more grapevines back there in this area. Um, that's it, right? That's all the berries? Mm -hmm. So, that's uh, some little edible plants for you. It's just the berries. Uh, maybe we'll do some other edible plants later. Shalom.